Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of May general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And hope that you all are doing well. So Libra, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Give Me the Night by George Benson. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. Now I got a couple messages here. For some of you guys, you meet, you may need to slow down on the nightlife. Like if you've been partying and kicking it and celebrating birthdays, I'm all for celebrating unions and things like that and festivities, especially birthdays, because that's your soul return. For me, that has a specific significance about it because the day that you were born, the day that you stepped foot on a 3D earth plane, you know, that's when your your goal or your journey in life, your destination, your destiny was activated. So I, I support celebrating those type of things. But for some of you guys, there may have been some nonstop partying. Now, if it's not you, this could be a love interest. Also, in hindsight, I'm also getting that, and I know this is going to contradict what I just said, but this will only apply if you know that you have not been out kicking it and politicking and bullshitting for the past couple of months, okay? If someone invites you out, you don't want to turn it down because I literally heard that you may meet your partner, your forever person at somebody's celebration, somebody's birthday party, some type of work. Because I am seeing colleagues, I'm seeing people with like um, blazers and things like that. It looks dressy. It doesn't look, and you know, it doesn't just have to be work. With um, because people are wearing blazers, you know, birthday parties really dressy. People wear tuxedos and things like that. But it, it's giving me kind of like <laughs> a stuffy environment. Like it's kind of like you know, if you go to a work environment and a work um event and things like that, you won't kick it the way you would kick it with your friends and your you know things like that. It, it seems like for some of you all, this could be a work event, like a a mingler, a mixer, and a mingler type of event. So something like that. But whatever the case, you don't want to turn this down. Now, you may be feeling like, well, why would I want to go somewhere with my, you know, co-workers? I know these people, so I wouldn't date or deal with any of these people. For some of you all, if you work for a big establishment, you may not know every single person that you work with that works in this establishment. So you may come across someone that may tickle your fancy and pique your interest. So I am getting that. Now, so like I said... Even if you have a friend or someone who invites you out to some type of event, I don't think you want to turn this down. Also, this person who's coming in, and I've, I swear to you, I literally looked it up on YouTube because I've never seen a video for it. Didn't even know it had a video for it. But when I looked at it the, in the very opening credits of the video, it was a man on roller skates playing a damn guitar. So, so for some of you guys, you're coming into contact with somebody who is very creative. Like this person is very skilled. They're like a jack of all trades. They have many gifts and abilities. Um, I feel like very artistic. And if this isn't this person and you know that this is you, I feel like this person is going to see you as very talented and gifted. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to change the card to the top and the bottom of the deck. I'm just thinking to myself at the beginning, like, why the hell is he on skates playing a guitar? So that lets me know, like, that, that's somebody who definitely kicks it. Like, this person is partying. Like, I'm so cold and so good at partying. I'm a motherfucker skate and play a guitar. I'm telling you, for some of you all, somebody play all damn day and somebody has been partying nonstop. I'm getting that for somebody. Again, if it's not you, it could be your person, okay? Or you could be meeting someone that way. And this person may have a nightlife type of personality. Like, this person likes to kick it all the time, okay? So let's see. Again, change the cards at the top and the bottom of the deck. And as always, there's no reversals in either one of the decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read as such. Okay. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the, <laughs> you got the death card. Um, it's like something could begin quickly, but end just as quickly. But also, you could be dealing with a Scorpio because this is Scorpio's energy. Let's see what's behind it. Yeah. So this is definitely somebody who likes to kick it. But I feel like a connection with you is going to slow them down. Like if this person, because this is someone who uh, who seeks the attention from the village, you know, on a lower vibration, the six of wands is success, obtainment, achievement, some type of victory. This is also someone who likes to have praise from the village. They like to kick it. They're like the center of the attention. I feel like something about you is making them transform and shift their way of thinking in that, in that pattern of behavior. Because something has to end here. You got the death card. Yeah, look at that. This is fortunate. What happened the case? This is a fortunate situation. You got victory, you got the death of ending, the definite ending, that's Major Arcana. And then you got the wheel, which is the wheel of fortune. Definitely all the Scorpio energy here. Um, it could be a Scorpio who's inviting you to an event. You could have met someone in Scorpio season, which is October, November. 
And for some of you guys, you may have thought that this person... Now, if, the, if you're dealing with someone who parties too much, you may have thought this person would change their ways now that they're in a relationship. It hasn't for some of you all. And you may feel like the best thing for you to do is to end the situation with this individual. And for others, it could be that you've been single for a while and that's going to end because this new person who's coming in, this is going to be the one for you. So we're, we're going to see when we get to the shuffles. Yeah, for a lot of y'all, as soon as I parted, you got major arcana and hair fine, traditional marriage, traditional relationships, longevity here. This is always a spouse or, or a long-term companion. Now you have the death card transformation. Then you have Roman numeral V right here, five time I'll change. This person is changing their ways. Wow. Look at what card is behind it. Ten of cups. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a um, October Scorpio. And if that's not the case, I'm definitely getting that for some of you all. This person has changed their ways. Now this person who is a partier is ready for long-term commitment, marriage, and, and ready to start a family is what I'm getting. Now for some of you all also, you could have been with this person for a while, but it just seems like um, this person, when you met this person, they could have been like this. But now they're changing their ways and now they're thinking about long-term commitment here. That's what I'm getting. So we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which is the Justice card. We get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and then Clarifiers. Look, as soon as I part here, you guys go. Four of Pentacles holding on for dear life. So some of you guys could be also dealing with a April Taurus because we just had the hair font. And then you have Taurus Rebel Capricorn here. So it could be any of those signs also. But somebody wants to keep you. Somebody wants to keep you and somebody wants to marry you. Somebody's trying to hold on tight to you. I feel like I'm definitely getting the energy of somebody changing their ways because they may have been partying too much. There's a lot of different messages in this. I can't, uh, again, you would have to apply it to where it fits with you. But I feel very strongly like somebody's changing their ways. Okay? And when I say change their yeah, somebody's changing their ways. In the past, they may have always just been in and out. The seven of swords, light, cheat, manipulate, a sneak, conniver, some type of deception. Yeah. They had you in your head and you are swords. Um... So for some of you all, you may have felt like this person would always be the way that they are. They're, they Or in the past, they told you that they would change their ways and settle down and they never did. And had you in your head having anxiety and fear. <laughs> you guys keep showing up with balance. Okay, and, and this is going to happen soon because I didn't. you guys seen me shuffle it again. So the card that comes right in front of there is a nine of swords. Right behind you, you have the ace of cups. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, and then look at that judgment card. Somebody's made a decision to settle their ass damn down. Because they know that this causes you anxiety and fear or, or worry or they're fearing that you may move on to someone else with the Ace of Cups. Because Aces are always brand new starts. Always. Um, could be involving Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Also, I always see this sometimes as well as the way the water is flying out the side of the cup. Like you could have had many sleepless nights over this situation. Okay, you may have had people come back and tell you because you see how the owl is flying towards her. Owls talk about spiritual knowledge and wisdom. You could have had people come back to you telling you about things that they seen your person do when they were out and this person was lying to you about it. I feel like this person is saying that they're changing their ways or they have intentions to. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, something balancing out with the temperance card, tempering yourself. I feel like a lot of you all had patience for this person in the past, but you may feel like you're tired of dealing with that. Um, and for those of you who are single and you've been waiting for a, lot, a while for something new to come in, I feel like it's coming in. Because he has those two cups there and the two of cups is soulmates and that's a union. And you have the ace of cups. So with this being major, kind of it's a definite energy again. Like there's some type of new situation you may have been waiting for a while. Some of you guys could have been single for nine plus months or since September for some of you all. Could be involving a sash, doesn't have to be, but that is the energy of Sagittarius. It's part of the deck so we can shuffle. Ten of Pentacles. You already had the Ten of Cups. Now you have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, for some of you all, this new love, because this is definitely new love, this is going to lead to a long-term commitment. Also, for those of you who are patient with someone who just seemed like they were just, they would not settle down, they were lying, they were doing things that you didn't necessarily agree with, it looks like there's going to be some type of um, conclusion, because Ten is the end of a cycle and the beginning of another. Something going full circle. I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, you could have heard, you see how it looks like she's in despair or she said about something that she's heard, like, what was me? There is a third party look lurking back here. So for some of you all in the past, and I, I'm going to have to say that because you do have this liar right here. In the past, there could have you could have found out about some type of deception, third party, too much partying, too much drinking. 
and you work with this person, you had patience with this person, and now this person is trying to stabilize you guys' home life. And then for others, it's like, okay, enough waiting. It's time for me to move on, find something new, and be with someone who wants the same thing that I want. And it's like this past person will be watching you move on is what I'm getting here. That's going to clarify for the Nine of Swords as well as the Ace of Cups. For Libra, Sun, Rise, and Venus. There's quite a few storylines in here. Again, you have to apply it to um, where it fits your situation. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could be leaving a situation that had some type of stability associated with it. Because you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Pentacles talks about something of value, monetary, physical, the domestic. In reverse, it's like you lost your patience with the situation, you give up, okay? And remember, we just had the Four of Pentacles in the beginning. Like, somebody's trying to hold on to you. Okay, so I'm getting, I don't like this one, but I'm going to tell you the truth because of the energies that I'm getting with these cards here, okay? It's like somebody was saying that they were going to change. This is what they were promising you, but they didn't change at all. And so you lost patience for the situation. And that's why you had the four of pentacles um, previously in a previous shuffle, because this person may be coming back to you again, telling you lies, saying that they're going to act right just to keep you with that four of pentacles, because the four of pentacles is holding on for their life. Also, we just left April. So in April, you could have found something out that didn't make you very happy. Whatever the case, it looks like that with this outcome energy, Either there's already new love for you, because you could have this could have been a past situation that you left already, and you're healing from it. And from time to time, you may still be thinking about it. We are in Mercury retrograde, and Swords is retrograde energy. I mean Mercury, so you can be thinking about it now. But you're healing, and you're allowing yourself to be open to new love. Bottom of the deck, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Swords, okay? Yeah, some of you guys were wow, wow, look at that. Some of you guys were definitely dealing with someone who was so busy and pressing the streets or doing whatever, running the streets. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, that, you know, they cause trauma and chaos in their home. Because the four of wands is marriage, long-term commitment, union, someone that you have a domestic life with, okay? And then if you notice right here, he almost is giving me the vibe of the Knight of Wands. It's a page, but he got his little pimp cane, his little fedora, little dob hat, and then he has his little cape. Like this person, because even his back is facing the home life. So it's like somebody was making decisions that was causing chaos to the home life. Okay. And I feel like now the overline, there was multiple messages in this, but I feel like the overline messages is some of you all were dealing with someone who was so worried about the nightlife that they caused issues within their home life. Because in, like I said, in the hook of the song, he says, there's lots of music everywhere and not lots of loving everywhere, so give me the night. When I'm hearing loving, it could be like your friends loving on you, having a good time, but also loving could be like sexually dabbling with other people as well, okay? Yep, somebody who could be a bit greedy. Because the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, but if you notice, there's only one person there, so why would he need Nine of Cups? And then if you notice behind him, there's also a blue curtain. We don't know what's behind that curtain, so this person was doing things. Because that ties into this energy as well. Doing things they shouldn't be doing. And I know, again, I'm going to say this is not a negative card. But all cards have an upside and a downside to them. So just based off of the energy we get in here, this person was overindulging. Because the Nine of Cups can also be overindulging. Ooh, yep, this person was overindulging. Six of Pentacles. So somebody who was um, entertaining you and possibly another. Because you do literally have three people there. And by this third person is one, two, three. Okay, Could be involved in a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, but what I'm getting overall is somebody who was over. I want you to notice this. He has the scales here. This is you. That's your energy. And this could be you, but more than anything, also, I feel like some of you all could be balancing the scales by saying, you know what? You can continue to give breadcrumbs to everybody else. I'm moving on to something new. And that's really what I'm getting. You guys are moving on to something new. And if you are still trying to work things out in the situation, I'm not going to lie to you. It does look like this person, because these are your clarifiers, and you see how they're facing each other on the table. This person is still out here entertaining, focusing on their wine more than their, actually, their actual home life. And I feel like it's going to cause you a lot of grief, because this is your energy source, unless you are dealing with a fellow air sign, a Gemini, another Libra like yourself, or an Aquarius. It just looks like somebody, look, with these clarifiers and the way they're facing each other, this looks like somebody who is only focused on a sexual or physical and out doing things they shouldn't be doing. 
it has causing you grief or stress. And again, this could be in the past. And if this is in the past and this is something that you're just dealing with right now and it's coming to the surface during Mercury retrograde, looks like you could be coming into contact with someone new. But hell, check and make sure they're not dealing with somebody else too, to be quite honest with you. Now, I'm also going to say, like I said with the song, Give Me the Night, like if somebody invites you out to a party, again, check and make sure this person is single too because this person may seem like a likely candidate for someone that you could date, but they may have options also. I'm, I'm just going to say that as well. So do, do some snooping. Do your research is what I'm getting here, okay? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.